part this is part 2 of uh, configuration see in part 1 we have discussed about this uh, journal numeric symbol accounting inventory and uh, voucher entry in this part 2 I am going to explain from here onwards say invoice and orders here I accept, I accept uh, supplementary details say put yes for uh, company details the party details etc etc allow separate buyer and consignee names see this is must for uh, those who are sending goods to a particular party and deliver to some other area you can say yes for this option and this allow modification all entry duty during entry if you want to change entries you can say press enter yes here then use common ledger for stock items say example there are so many items if you want to say yes for this option all items will come to one sales ledger like that if you want to allocate some items to another sales ledger this will be useful for yes if you want to say say here if you yes no each and every item you have to specify the ledger you can use different ledgers for each items for all the items then use default for bill allocation if you say yes press yes for this option no for this yes for this option your all items will go to one sales ledger use additional discount description for item names already we have discussed in previous video say example if you enter one stock item name like mobile model model name is the item and configuration and X configuration features and everything will enter in uh, additional description similarly the use additional description for ledger names say example one supplier name you can enter the description as is the supplier for so and so items consolidated stock items this is let it be then show turnover achieve if you press enter you can able to see the turnover on a particular date of voucher specify export details export shipping details this is particularly in sales invoice then if you want shipping details press yes here then enter the details of shipping then marks and container numbers this is also if you need press yes then enter the details specify number and packages this also you can able to yes to specify the package numbers say bundles cages like that then inventory so compound units based on rate this uh, put yes yes or negative balance if you say yes while entering a item it is no stock it will available negative balance you will get a negative wa warning owner expired date if you want to enter sold expired date stock also you can say yes here batch zero this also like that complete account allocation order delivery notes say yes as per your requirement 
statutory calculate tax and current subtotal if you press yes here sales figure and tax will uh, separately will visible on invoice number invoice a particular invoice you can able to see the uh, subtotal of sales then tax and extra detail subtotal so that means each and every step you can able to see the values allow section of VAT tax during data entry if you want to change the VAT class you can say yes here then even you to also if you required you can do it you can make it yes allow alteration of TCS lower rate if you have TCS you can say press yes and able to collect lower rate of tax TD, TCS then payroll configuration so statutory passport detail these if you want to require all these details say yes to all then banking configuration so all configuration on reconciled voucher still date yes actually this is not required then keep no press no remove bank date on alter voucher date this is I think it is not necessary leave it, leave it this then printing general this is particularly for uh, voucher printing and invoice printing and ledger printing also while printing reports print date and report if you say yes in printing report on which date you have taken the report uh, that will print on the voucher or ledger or whatever print date time and voucher number voucher printing this is time first one is print date and time this is print date time of voucher printing when you are uh, printing the voucher the time will display on uh, voucher print state and pin code with address if you want to print these details in reports ledger reports you can say yes here stop printing vertical lines borders this is for fast printing the particularly for dot matrix you can say yes here so that the lines will remove while printing the report standard space on top of pages that means top margin you can enter 1 inch or 0.25 inch whatever it is setting quick, quick format split long lines into multiple lines say example narration etc or ledger names lengthy names split long amounts it is not necessary say let it be no for these two options now purchase watch purchase transaction while printing purchase vouchers you can set here what are the details required and what are the details not required if you any of the details in this menu you can say yes to print if you don't want to print you can say yes no for this options say if you want yes for this print narration narration will print on purchase voucher like that here the height of the invoice then width of invoice 
that is you can change according to your uh, requirement then receipt note this is the receipt note configuration this is here you can uh, you can you can tell uh, title you can change this title name then height of the invoice receipt you can say enter as 5 inches all or inches you can change whatever you wish number of copies if you want to print two three copies you can enter two or three like that simple format say yes or no then print voucher reference if you want to print voucher reference you can say yes here print order details this also you can able to s print con company taxation number supplier number this also you can enable to print then port name you can able to print port name quality quantity rate then batch subtotal for each line if you want it you can say yes like that then purchase order purchase no this is receipt note means when the goods received against purchase order so receipt note uh, this is particularly for uh, stock those who are maintaining stock so those who are not having dealing with stocks that is inventory it is not required then purchase order see the purchase order you can change the height width and the margins etc then also you can enable yes or no for uh, the following options it's okay then quit now payment voucher this is a payment voucher configuration you can set the height of the payment voucher then width of the payment voucher then this is the margin top left then payment mode of top payment mode on top voucher you can say yes print bill wise details you can say yes print inventory details if you want to print inventory details you can say yes here print bank reconciliation date once you reconcile the bank account there you have mentioned a date the day, date will appear here print cost center employees if you are using this cost center and employee details you can say press yes here then narration say yes yes then sales transaction for sale invoice for sale invoice you can configure say document title you can change the document uh, title instead of invoice then height uh, mention the height then width <coughs> then margins print simple format please press no for this then if you want to watch a reference say yes here order details yes terms if you want to enter any terms on delivery press yes here print details of dispatch if you want to more uh, details about dispatch you can enter this field tcs details required yes print item taxable values if you want to print taxable values say yes here print tax analysis of stock items that means uh, 
in voucher 4% 5% like that you can say as here VAT and CST analysis if you want to print these details you can say yes here print company name this must be yes yes then serial number that is yes part number if you are using part in sales invoice you can say yes here print quantity column if you want the columns for quantity and rate etc you can say yes press yes here alternative quantity details you want you can yes here then rate quantity you want rate quantity you can say yes here print VAT CST percentage column if you want to print a percentage of VAT or CST you can say yes here print date and time if you want to print date of date and time you can say yes here batch details if you want to print batch details you can say yes here rate of duty say if your uh, your company is excise under excise duty say yes here print subtotal for each line say yes here yes yes this also yes that's it now POS POS you can change the title as POS whatever you wish your method of stock item name say the stock name and name only then here if you enter this name and description will available will available and here name and alias that means product name and product code like that here name and part number so party number or uh, stock item name plus part number like that according to your choices you can select then print item names in one line you can say yes here yes 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 see if whatever whatever the options you required you can say yes otherwise press no here that's it then delivery note delivery note this is against sales order you are dispatching goods through delivery note for this delivery note you can configure whatever you want you want the logo press here to press print logo then height width you can change this you can say yes whatever you want yes and whatever you not required press no that's it then sale order sale order quotation say these are sale order sale order you can uh, change the title then if you want to use logo specify yes here then with uh, that's it so here there are so many options whatever the option you want press yes otherwise let it be no that's it and further review will continue in next part